What's up, Athena fam? Jay O'Keel here, Facility Advisor for Athena. Today I'm here to walk you through an easy way to dial in your ProLine Dosatron panel. The recommended Dosatron panel and part numbers can be found in the handbook. Most growers set their Dosatrons by milliliters per gallon of each part based on the EC they desire at the end. But the best way to dial in a Dosatron panel using the ProLine is by using the EC of each individual part. This ensures that we maintain the proper ratios of the ProLine formulation and that we land on our desired final EC. Reference the Dosatron injection settings document on our website or handbook to determine the EC of each individual part that corresponds to your desired final EC. First, calibrate your EC and pH meter at the end of the Dosatron panel. This is very important. Next, turn off all dosers and run the system until you reach the EC of the incoming stock water. In this setup, the RO stock water has an EC of 0.1, so we'll be adding 0.1 EC to each individual part as well as to our final EC. For this example, we will be mixing for 3.0 EC, so our final solution should equal 3.1 EC. For a 3.0 EC, we need 1.5 EC of core and 1.9 EC of bloom or grow. So when considering our stock water EC, our goal will be 1.6 EC of core and 2.0 EC of bloom or grow. You might notice that these values do not equal 3.1 EC when added together, but when concentrates are mixed into solution, the ending EC will equal 3.1. To start the process, turn off all dosers and run the water through the system until the EC of your inline meter matches the stock water EC. Next, set your core doser to 19 mils per gallon. Turn on your core doser and watch your inline meter. Make any adjustments up or down until you reach 1.6 EC. Once your core is set correctly, turn off the core doser and run the system until your inline meter matches your stock water EC. Next, we will perform the same procedure for the bloom doser. Dial the bloom doser to 32 mils per gallon and adjust up or down until you reach 2.0 EC. Now turn on the rest of the dosers and adjust for pH using your balanced doser. Now that our Dosatron panel is dialed into the proper EC and pH, I recommend setting your nutrient solution to a batch tank, which will then be sent to your plants. A batch tank is ideal because we can be confident that the nutrient solution is fully mixed properly before it's sent to our plants. Utilizing a direct inject setup where the nutrient solution goes from the dosatron panel directly to the plants without the use of a batch tank has its challenges. If the flow rate does not match the ratings for your dosatron panel, it is possible to have inconsistent nutrient delivery. Be sure to check with dosatron to be sure that you have the correct setup for a direct inject system. By dialing in your dosatron panel based on EC, you can be more confident that you're giving your plants the correct nutrients and the correct ratios. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with our upcoming videos. Peace out. Thanks.